welcome to my channel i'm mark this is mark's mods and today guys it is a new year so i am going to say happy new year to everybody out there uh, i'm hoping 2023 is going to be better than 2022 hopefully fingers crossed um i have had a bit of a few issues over the uh holiday period i came down with quite a nasty chest infection uh, which basically just has flawed me i wasn't very well christmas day um and yeah it's not been easy um and luckily um i was able to order some covid tests but with royal mail we just yeah it hasn't been the greatest but we are back and we are going to start the new year with the bang oh yes because we are going to do issue 38 of the titanic and this is going to be an interesting issue because today we're going to be checking to make sure the motor the gearbox and the engines are running as they should do now i've done a little bit of forward planning on this one um all throughout this build i've been checking them engines making sure that they are running correctly and making sure they should be doing what they should be doing they have been doing so i've got every faith in myself that this will work today um so it's all fingers crossed uh 39 we've got some fine details to do on the titanic and then in 40 we have to put the propellers on and um as you might have seen i've uh, finished painting my propellers and i'm really pleased with them it's been a lot of hours of masking off painting delicate bits and pieces but really really it, it's so worth it for this model anyway we better get started with this one so with all that said let's get modeling <laughs> Okay guys, so here we go. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be basically attaching the gearbox and the motor uh, to the actual engine room of the Titanic. Now if I bring it over, here we are. Okay, so um, I've just got that on there for now just to keep it safe and sound. Um, but here we go, this is what we're going to be doing. So we're going to get our wire first of all. And we need to thread it down this little hole in the engine room floor here. Ooh. It's a very, very long wire. So goodness knows where the circuit board is going to be in this model. Now with it facing round like this, what we need to do is we need to get, speed some more of that wire through the bars in now i've sort of adjusted mine slightly um just had a bit of a tinker with it off camera just so i can do this a lot easier right i believe that's in if i check that bar that's moving that cog and that one's moving that cog so that is now in place now um we need to fix this down with the four AP screws. Okay, now it's telling us not to tighten them up straight away. Uh, we always get an extra. So I'll just sort of do it a little bit tight, not too tight, and then we'll uh, we'll check it. So that's not very tight. Mildly tightening these at all, actually. So, last one. Just down here. Okay. Right, so that is now in place. Like I said, it's still got some movement there. So I'm just going to bring this wire towards me. So, step three in the instructions is more or less making sure that all your bits on your engine are okay and where they should be which i believe mine is okay so we're not going to do any damage um so right so moving on to the final back page we are ready to 
test this. So we're going to get the motor cable here, the wire, and we're going to plug that into place. We need to make sure on this circuit board that it's in the off position because we have got forward and aft. Okay. Anybody thinking this circuit board might have, been, might have come in useful for the Spitfire? I'm not saying nothing on that landing gear. Could have tested it. Okay. So, I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to bring this across. And I'm going to try and bring in a, another camera. <coughs> so, if I go to that camera, we're going to see if things work. Okay, so let's try. Everything's running fantastically on that. Okay. Okay, so that was which way direction did that go in? Let me just check the magazine. Okay. Right, so that was a stern. This time we're going to go full ahead. Now, when we go full ahead, which we're moving this to me, it's to the left. We should, should, the third motor should kick in, but it won't do anything. But if I feel that bar there, just in the middle here, I, that is actually moving, which is fantastic. So we know the gearbox works. The noise is a little bit to be desired but you know we know that works so if we go to off again and then we'll go astern that bar here look at it here that this bar here is not moving so we are actually asking the ship to go backwards and then we do that and then when we ask the ship to go forwards, this bar moves and we're actually going to be going forwards. I am so pleased that everything is working. Really, really pleased everything is working. The thrust block uh, box plates are doing the job. Everything is aligned up, which is fantastic. And I am really, really, really happy with that really happy with that so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move this camera sorry if it goes a bit dizzy cam but if i show you this side you'll see them pistons moving in and out and there we go now we're going backwards To look at it that is an absolute like beautiful thing to see so I'm gonna unplug the motor now so that's the motor unplugged um, we're getting nice to tell you the truth um, we get a really nice USB-C cable here which is always handy actually um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that space that other circuit board into I have a little test board Thing to the side of me here where I put uh, test boards in for the builds that I'm doing but I am so chuffed that that is working it really is it looks lovely actually to see it working so that is a relieved issue 38 complete well guys what a way to start the new year everything is working fine and I am so relieved really really relieved um on this model because uh yeah i i did have every faith in myself because i've been working hours in the background making sure that this model is going to be perfect it's going to run properly and i'm really chuffed how things have gone on so far uh one thing i will say is it was a little bit of a joke really uh towards the end of the year uh, towards the end well the run up to christmas really i started putting a few outtakes in my uh my videos and um they've proved quite popular actually um so i'm thinking what i might do is i might continue with that if everybody wants them and yeah you see get to see 
what goes on behind camera um, when, yeah, things go wrong. Uh, which nine times out of ten they do. If if there is no outtakes, then you know exactly that 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 went planned and that was one out of ten that happening. But uh, I'm going to keep them in there. Um, but it's going to be right at the end um, after the Patreon uh, names and the ending. So hang around and you'll see the outtakes for the day. Uh, I think that's where I'm going to go with them anyway. Anyway, um, I'm really chuffed on that one and it's been a fantastic way to start the year. Uh, if you like this video, please can you give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future issues, issues, videos, updates and anything like that. But as for always guys, stay safe and bye for now. going to do issue 38 of the Titanic today like I've already said I think have I already said that yeah I think I've already said that don't ask just just don't ask um so I'm going to get started on this one today and to check to make sure everything is working as it should do so with all that said let's get modding modding what I mean I know when I do mods I'm... eh so I've just done all that for no. <sighs> One. Hang on. This is doing weird. Right, let me. No, 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 no. What am I doing?